All right, Sherry. So here's the first one. This is the one that you had actually asked about. Uh, it's a 2008 Dodge 2500. It's got the 6.7 Cummins in it. It is the Mega Cab, and I believe the bed length is five and three quarter. So I walked around it already. I drove it. It seems to drive really nice. I didn't see any major damage. There are some super small things that there's a little spot that's been touched up. Um, you do have chrome uh, wheel well liners going all the way around to help protect that paint. The tire tread on these is, I mean, they're just about brand new, if not brand new, that are on here. Okay. So I'm going to kind of back out again so you can see going down the side. I don't see any door dings even. It's in really nice shape. Now the mirrors on all Dodges, and you'll, you'll notice... They do turn into towing mirrors, all right? And they're also defogging, so those will turn on any time you turn on your rear defrost. I do have it running right now, so you might hear that in the background. All right, down here at this tire, again, the fronts are just as new as the, the rears. Going around the front, I don't see any scuffs on the lower fascia here, even. All right. There's a super small amount of hazing going on on the headlights here um, that could be easily taken care of. It's about a $35 product that you can pick up at O'Reilly's uh, or AutoZone, anything like that. All right, you're going to see that same little bit of hazing right here on the top here. Oops, sorry. And then you do have a little bit of the uh, chrome covering bubbling right there as well. All right. But that's about it as far as damage that I was able to find. Uh, it does run and drive real straight. And it should. It's only got, I think, 108,000 miles on it. Moving to the interior. Driver's seat. A lot of times you'll get the wear right here. If you, by feel, you can feel there's a little tiny bit of wearing going on. But visually, it's in very, very good condition. The seats are manual adjust, so you've got the lever there. And then you also have your side lever. You not only have your regular floor mats, but you also have the all weathers that are going right over the top of that. It's got an aftermarket CD player. Let me get there. 103,000, not 108, 103,525 miles on it. All right, so your steering wheel, of course, you've got your cruise control on this side and here. You do have your shifter right there now you can put it down into drive and just drive it normally otherwise you do also have these modes here where you can actually turn on or shut off your upper gears tow haul on the end pretty basic um, climate controls right here of course you've got your fan and then moving over you've got your climate and then where it's blowing this far side here is of course your AC and then your rear defrost down here is your exhaust brake, and then you have this light load uh, indicator as well. So with most Dodges now, you've got um, all your heads up display information right here. So there, there's your average, any system warnings, personal settings, and so on. So you can customize it, there's your distance to empty, trip, time. Of course, you can also switch it into kilometers if you were to be going into Canada. Um, but looking over at the door panels, I looked at the headliners. Um, everything is in really nice condition. You've got all four of those uh, regular floor mats as well as the all weathers. Now, with the mega cabs, you do have this lever right here, which will recline your rear seats. That way, your back back seat passengers can be very comfortable. And you also have this lever right there. It's just flipped up on that. It makes a nice flat level surface. And the other one, of course, does that as well. That way you can do any storage um, that you might need it for. Back here, you've got little storage compartments as well. Now, your backseat passengers do have your cup holders built in there. As well as plenty of storage in the doors as well. So... Now, as far as interior smells or anything like that, it is in very good condition, and I don't smell any notable smells. You've got your, your center console here, 
that does flip up into a sixth seat if you do need that. So um, if you have any other questions or see anything that I didn't cover on this particular one, just give me a call. I can come out, test drive it again, uh, video a certain area, anything that you need. I also found two other ones, the one I spoke to you on the phone about, and another one that's just sitting right over the top of that one. So I'll get those videos taken care of after the test drives and, and ship those over as well. Have an awesome day, Sherry.